Holy shit, what's going on, babe? Oh, Whoa. that's what's going on. So we're chicken. having chicken for dinner. And so I decided that I'm gonna like cut the carcass into small pieces, the parts that we can't eat, obviously. And we're gonna throw them to the sharks. And I saw a freaking like a five foot barracuda. It was huge. Okay, hit it up. Be back. It's pretty awesome here. But I'm not sure that we're gonna be going any more north. I know, plans have changed a little bit as they always do. Again, it was another really relatively quick sail arriving over at Cambridge Key. It's in the Land and Sea Park. We're going to be doing a mooring ball as well today for our very first time, so we'll see how that goes. Are you nervous about getting the mooring ball, honey? Not really nervous, just got to get it right. Yeah, well, easier said than done. <laughs> I mean, I, just, I don't think it's something you don't want to like build it up to be something it isn't, I guess. Yeah. If we miss it, we'll just drive around again and we go around. Yeah. So we did try to sail. It was about 13 and a half miles, so it would have only taken a few hours. It was a downwind sail, and we thought that we could do it with the angle, but wind kept on coming like directly right behind us, so we just had to pull in the sails and turn the engine on, unfortunately. We could have just kept it going and take our sweet time and not have the engine on, but then we would get here not at the perfect timing for uh, depth. Water is changing color, getting more shallow. Definitely having to stay very close to our tracks on the magenta line to get over this sandbank area here. The mooring field is just over there. So good job, we snaked up to it really slowly and Jeff was able to grab it with uh, the, the boat was, But that loop is so heavy, it was floating down below like underwater oh and i thought oh, i'm not gonna make this but then i went for it and got it about almost pitch. yeah exactly and then we swung back around i can't remember <laughs> if this is right the dock line through there through it so we have to bridle right yeah it's got a nice thimble on it huge thimble. yeah serious so it should be good well that was exciting uneventful which is always a good thing <laughs> we love it. and we didn't have to go around circle back we didn't miss it so that's good okay time for the engine to go up we just opened a couple beers and here comes the money boat to collect the fees for the mooring ball for the night it'll be around 30 bucks or something it's half price if you just anchor so i think that we'll be doing that for tomorrow so 30 bucks for us for the night and they're just writing down our boat name and we will do the cash handoff over to them. <laughs> do you see this guy's gun? I mean, I guess maybe they have to chase down people who don't pay the 30 bucks a night? Thank you. You too. Yeah, the park warden just left. And here is a shark. Wow. All right, here we go. <laughs> we are on our way over to the aquarium, which is like a very popular snorkeling spot over off of O'Brien Key. The tour boat was here and they just took off. So perfect timing for us. If you're enjoying our content so far, please remember to do all the things. Like, subscribe if you aren't already, and leave us a comment.
Holy shit, what's going on, babe? Oh, Whoa. that's what's going on. Yeah. I'm gonna go to this side so the sun is not. Okay. I'm a, look, there's two sharks currently. Look, there's a, yeah, second one. Yeah, there's two, yeah. There's one, lots of fish. Another one coming in behind there, back yes. there. Uh, so okay, do it now, chicken. Show the bait, show the bait. So we're chicken. having chicken for dinner. And so I decided that I'm gonna like cut the carcass into small pieces, the parts that we can't eat, obviously. And we're gonna throw them to the sharks. Okay, throw a little piece and to bring them over here and then dump barracuda more. as well. I just threw um, the chicken skin overboard and I saw a freaking like a five foot barracuda. It was huge. Okay, hit it up. Okay, I'm hitting it with Oh, he's right here. He's right here. Oh, oh my it? god, he is big. Isn't too. he huge? That's the biggest one I've ever seen for sure. Yeah, I know. I didn't know what You can't see it on camera. That thing is freaking two thirds of my body so, length. The barracuda or the shark? Who do you think is going to win this piece of chicken? Like All right, it? I'm filming. Who's getting it? Who's okay, getting it? here it is. Shark's oh, on it like white on rice. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, he brought his buddy. The barracuda's like, I don't want nothing of a. Oh, the little fish is there. Oh, oh shoot, shark. look how fast he goes. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty quick. I'm gonna go a little bit because there's a current going right now. Okay, give them a little taste so they it, they come over here. Throw it out there a little bit. Yeah, so throw it out, good. throw it out there like a good 20 feet. Okay, I got two pieces left, right? Okay. Ready? Just throw a little piece or something. I only have two left. Okay, throw it 10 feet. Okay, I'm on it. Here we go. The fish point the way. Two of them. I know. Two of them I know. I know. I know. Get him! Get him! Get him! I know they're coming. The, the fish point the way immediately. Oh yeah! Good. Look at that. Okay, now again, throw it. Oh yeah! Oh! That was freaking epic. One more. One more. Okay, right in the middle of them. Go other dude. Go other dude. Yeah. Oh, battle's on. Oh, yeah. oh everyone loves chicken. We are not going swimming here. Why not? We'll see. <laughs> Look at this. Don't fall in. Yeah, I This is a freaking big toe. So, do you think those are bull sharks? I have no idea. I got an idea. Good grief. They're definitely not. They're not nurse, nurse sharks. sharks. And they don't, I don't think they're Caribbean reef sharks, so there's something. But while we're going through this, look at this windsock I just rigged up. We got this for free out of a, what do you call those things? Free cycle? Or a free cycle. So, Harrington Harbor, shout out to Harrington Harbor North. They have these free cycle bins on the property, They're like white garbage cans, and people can drop off stuff they don't want. We found two brand new Stanley mugs. One of them had a dent. Surely Amazon shipped them new ones, and so we scooped up the old ones. Huh? No pun intended. Scoop! Uh, and they've been great. And then there's this thing. We've never used it. We just had a thought right now. We should figure this out. So I went through the clue on the head sail. It has a piece of wood on the bottom here. Right there. I just put it on the front side. It seems to be holding fine. And then I just, inside the boat down below, I ran the strings out to whatever I could grab. And man, the amount of air coming in there right now is, it's great. This thing moves around a lot, but I mean, who cares? If I pulled it up more tight, I guess it probably would waggle less. Let's just do a quick test. I'm holding it tighter. It's still going to waggle. It is what it is. Yeah. So anyway, kind of cool. So we're just over at this little beach over here. Excellent spot, but the sun is just pumping down on it right now. So I reached my maximum threshold, dingied over here. And I noticed some, I was looking at people's different uh, approaches to grabbing a mooring ball. This is our first one ever. And uh, yeah, I could look it up and everything else, but I just was trying to remember. And I ran one from one cleat through it and back to the other cleat. Then I had this thought that no, if it broke free at either end, that's not good enough. So went from a cleat, with a dock line to it and back to the same cleat and then did that same thing on the starboard and port side. So two lines, so redundancy on my side. Now this thing just has to actually hold, but I think this thing's rated for 150 tons or something like that. So we're good, safe and sound. No big weather's expected, but I like to practice that which, uh, which I need to remember. And so that's what I've done. It's really beautiful here. 30 bucks a night, which is just kind of hard to pay when you're a sailor trying to live on the cheap, but I mean, whatever, it's conservation, I'm sure. Park's beautiful. So we're just making our dinner, but I can't help it. Every like 10, 15 minutes, I'm coming back outside <laughs> just to see if the sharks are still here, and they are. Here they are, here's number one, and number two, Ah, there he is. There's the other half of the twins. We fed them like 20 minutes ago now. 
they didn't get any more. We don't got any more to give them, but they are still just like chilling, hanging out here. Definitely gotta name them. Put your suggestions for names down in the comments below. I think that they should be named their boy and girl. They're in love, of course. And the girl is gonna be named Chick and the boy can be named Ken. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help it. <laughs> hey, babe. I thought of, of really good names for our pet sharks. You want to hear what they are? Okay. <laughs> I haven't told Jeff, so this is going to be his like raw reaction right now. So they are, they are a boy and a girl. They're in love, just like we are, of course. Makes sense, right? Okay, so the girl's name is Chick. And the guy's name is Ken. Chick Hi. Ken. Because oh, that's why. <laughs> Isn't that good? It's what do you think? What do you think? I mean, I'm glad you're happy you sound happy. Oh my god, it's so funny. I think it's good names. <laughs> so, yeah, we are in Cambridge Key. It's like the most southern land and sea park key here. We are moving pretty quickly around all these little islands. So it's hard to keep them straight. Like, where are we today? <laughs> I know, I know, I'm sorry. First world problems, I'm sure, but it's pretty awesome here. But I'm not sure that we're gonna be going any more north. I know, our original plan was we're going back up to Nassau area and then back over to Florida for preparation to go to Guatemala for this hurricane season, but Plans have changed a little bit, as they always do. Plans are always written in sand when it comes to sailing. You can have a really good idea and yeah, you're all for it and everything, but things can change. You don't know, like the people that you meet, and things that you hear about the passage that you're about to attempt to do. So yeah, basically that's what happened to us. Long story short is that we are now planning on continuing on south and going down the Caribbean chain and ending up in Grenada for this uh, hurricane season. The original reason why we weren't gonna be going to Grenada, we met some people up in North Carolina who originally said, you're not gonna have enough time to get all the way down to Grenada before hurricane season hits. It's a long way, a lot of miles, you're gonna be beating into it like big time. And that could be the case, and I'm sure it will be, as you will be seeing in the next episodes. Uh, so we just kind of like knocked that whole idea out and decided on Guatemala instead. But then, but then we heard from quite a few people saying that the passage from Key West over to Mexico, Cancun area, is not very fun. Um, not sure if you watch them on YouTube, Bo and Brandy. Of course you do, they're awesome. And they're super, super nice people as well. We've been speaking with them a lot via Instagram and um, giving us a lot of pointers and information about sailing and Guatemala in general. And they were saying that the passage can be really, really rough. They were seeing 10 foot waves and currents of up to six knots against them. Just tried to do a three day passage over to freaking Cancun. So we changed our plan. We're gonna be going to Grenada this hurricane season. Yep, it's, uh, <laughs> we kind of made a pros and cons list this morning um, over coffee and uh, yeah, so in the next couple of days we're gonna be starting to go back down south and you will be able to see what we're up to in all of the Caribbean cool islands. A huge shout out to all of our amazing patrons who helped make all of this possible. Thank you so, so much. And if you would like to join the Joe Co. crew, we'll have a link in the description box below. Thanks.